I've been coming at Spurs for over 50 years, and I have to say this isn't one of their finest seasons. But like most fans, I'm pretty confident I know which factors are going to be most important for determining whether they're going to play better or worse than expected in any given season. Unsurprisingly, there's no shortage of opinions here. Definitely the manager. You know, the manager, they need to respect the manager. The manager needs to have sort of like all respect to the players as well. You've got the tactics right. Yeah. And you've got the players in the right places where they should be. Right, you need a very good executive board. Your players need to stay very fit. Your manager needs to be focused, have a very good philosophy. Beyond opinion, there is a way to use maths to work out which factors are the most crucial. It's called an attribution study. And it's what the IPCC did to arrive at their 95% figure. All attribution studies start with identifying the factors that might cause an outcome. Let's take footballing success. Here I've got lots of statistics on all the Premiership teams going back many seasons. It's interesting when you look at the league tables to see how the performance of a team will vary from season to season. I want to understand which of many possible factors are the most important cause of this. Is it the length of time the manager's been with the club? Is it the injury rate? Is it how much they spend on players? I'm going to put all those factors together with many others and plot my own attribution study. It's another bad day for Tottenham at White Hart Lane. Full-time Tottenham 1, Stoke 2. To work out why some teams win and some lose, we need the second part of the attribution study. The different factors we've identified that could affect the team's performance are put into a mathematical model. It's the same process climate scientists use to try to work out what is driving climate change. I can now check the accuracy of my model against teams' past performance. So what I've got here, for example, is I've taken one of the teams, Manchester City, and I've plotted the actual performance in terms of points that they achieved in each of the last few seasons. Now we look at what the model would have predicted, and you can see it's actually a pretty good prediction of what actually happened. And this is true for all the teams in the Premier League. Now I know I can trust my model, I can move on to the clever bit isolating the factors that make the most difference to the team's success. I found that there was one factor which had far greater impact on performance than any other, the wage bill. If I take out the wage bill factor, it's no longer a good estimate at all. It's quite a long way off. And in fact, we can repeat that for all of the other teams. Using the same methods as the IPCC, I can even put an actual figure on how big an effect the wage bill has. I could say there's a 95% chance that if you increase the wage bill by 10%, there'll be at least one extra point per premiership season.